Hello guys, I am back. We are still talking about what is going on, what is trending in Nigerian politics. Greetings to you wherever you are. Okay, um, I don't want to take you far. I don't know where to start, but I will start from somewhere. So it is no longer news that um, former presidential um, candidate of NNPP, that is Kwan Kwaso himself, is also in the cabinet of Tinubu as a minister. Now, why am I making this story? Kwan Kwaso, I remember this man, do, um, I think he spoke person, Kwan Kwaso spoke person, NNPP spoke person, I've forgotten his name. One said, if only Kwan Kwaso had agreed to be the running mate to Peter B, they would have concluded the election before 12 p.m. And of course, yes. I remember when the, the dialogue was still going on between the Labour Party and the NNPP. And then NNPP said, no, Kwan Kwaso in qualification. Uh, Kwan Kwaso is better than Peter B in ramification. In all ramification, let me put it that way, that Kwan Kwaso is better than Peter Obi, that there is no way Kwan Kwaso will be a running mate to Peter Obi. It is laughable. That that same Peter Obi, okay, or he won the election, but let me just put it straight on record. Came was a third, okay, came the third position in the presidential election. No, we all understand, please. Uh, pardon me, I understand what I'm saying, okay? The case is still at the tribunal. We all understand what I'm trying to say. So the same Kwon was so that they now want to be a running mate to, Tini, uh, to Peter Obi. He's now a minister to Tinibu. Kama, I swear, Kama. I mean, let us look at it this way. If only... Kwon Kwaso had agreed to be the running mate of uh, Peter Obi. I mean, being the fact that he uh, won the Kano State and some uh, other northern state based on his popularity. Who will be talking about Tinibu today? Who will be talking about Atiku Abubakar? But now, qualification do not matter, Abi. No, let us face the reality. So now qualification do not matter that Kwan Kwaso is now a minister, a minister to Tinibu. I mean, how do you explain that? How will the NNPP explain that? How will these people explain this? Because it's going to be a very big regret, both to Kwan Kwaso himself. It's a big regret to Kwan Kwaso and his followers. Because by now, all of them, they'll be like, oh, how we wish we allowed Kwan Kwasa to be a running mate to Tinibu. But pride, pride goes before fall. That is it. NNPP, his team said, no, Kwan Kwasa is more qualified than Peter Obi. More qualified. And they start, you know, counting in qualification, governance, uh, politically, Kwan Kwasa is more qualified than Peter Obi. Peter Obi should be the one to be uh, his running mate. Of course, what is going on today? And this is the same person that will say, don't see, let me tell you the truth. The truth must always be told. You see all the ministerial nominees, most of them, they are only placeholder. Of course, you know, APC, <laughs> they know how to place whole person. They are only placeholder. Just to please them, you understand. Most of them, they, they are placeholder. But for them, they think, ah, Tenebo has uh, nominated me to be his minister. Not knowing what will be ahead. Most of them, they are placeholder there. The real list will come. Mark my words, today, the real list will come. Plenty of them, they, they are placeholder. Okay, guys, I quickly want to share this story with you. Uh, the person that says he will not be a running mate to Peter B. is now a minister to Tinibu. Let me know what you guys think. See you in another update.